welcome to my youtube channel my name is anubori shade if you're new here please kindly subscribe thank you so much for stopping by and in today's video i'm going to be sharing about handling envy god's way now what prompted this topic is um i saw that there were a lot of um, a lot of things that that have gone wrong because of this thing called envy and the truth of the matter is that as christians we are not supposed to allow envy now envy is um, it starts out as a thought because the first of all let's first establish this that envy is not from god it is from the devil now galatians chapter 5 verse um 21 22 there about talks about the fruits of the spirit and the works of the flesh now the first interestingly the first thing that the bible describes as work of the flesh is envy so envy is not something that comes from god it is not from god it is from the devil now that being established let's move on to why why what is envy in the first what is envy now envy is a feeling of oh i wish i, I wish i had what she i wish i have what she has oh no like envy is like you are like someone has attained something quite all right but then you feel like you feel like oh i wish i have that or just the thought of like you wish you had that now envy as envy as <laughs> there are several degrees to envy now there's a level where a person just feels like oh i wish i had that i wish i had that i wish i was in that position i wish i wish i wish i wish i wish and there's another level where the person actually takes an action based on that thought which we 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 all know what happens when there when there are when when envy is at work. We, we've seen that operative in in um, amongst Bible characters. We've seen a lot of a lot of this a lot of a lot of things that have happened because of of this thing called envy. Now, what this video seeks to address is to help us or to help you particularly understand how to handle envy God's way. Now, one of the ways to handle envy is to take a hold of it at the beginning stage now like i said i mentioned earlier that envy starts out as a thought now the devil works with that the bible says that um the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty true god to the pulling down of strongholds now the devil has strongholds and his that are spiritual and the bible also states that uh we do not fight physical physical enemies we are fighting against principalities and powers and the um powers in high places so we're dealing with spiritual spiritual enemies per se now the devil being a spirit person and we also being a spirit person shows that the darts that the enemy uses are spiritual as well now the devil fights the devil's darts are in the ver in, in thought version so he throws a thought he just he just like throws it into more like makes it look like you're the one thinking it meanwhile he's the one throwing the thoughts at you more like why no you know you can actually have that that thing that that person has he started what i started at that now when the person does not control or um handle or take a hold of that thought and does something with the thought the thoughts will continue to expand day by day then you, st you start seeing the person again you not feel like oh let me do something to take away that thing from this person's and or let me let me be an act as an obstruction to this person let me do this let me do that that is how envy grows so envy is in degrees but when you when we tr understand that we can handle and take a hold and grabs and and um um keep it under when it comes up as fast as the thoughts then we can we can actually overcome this we can actually overcome envy now um when a thought comes to you first understand that you cannot fight a thought with a thought so when a th when a, th a wrong thought comes to you you have to speak out i reject this thought in the name of jesus when you use the name of jesus on the remember that the name of jesus is the name that is higher than every other name and at the name of jesus every knee bows so Every being something that is from the devil will bow when you use the name of Jesus against So you say, I reject this thought in the name of Jesus. Now, uh, uh, yes, it, it is quite easy for, it, it's it's probably very easy for envy to, to happen when the person doesn't understand what success truly really is. Now, success is 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 um different for everybody. So my, my, my success and your success and every other person's success is different. 
Now, every one of us was sent here as an uh, answer to the cries of millions around the world. Every one of us sent here is, is um, shows that we were sent here to be an answer to a particular human problem. So, my success is going to be dependent on how far I have gone in that purpose that God has given to me on planet Earth. It's not going to be based on what somebody else has done or what somebody else is doing. So, when you understand that success is not dependent on somebody else's success, that somebody else is succeeding doesn't mean that you are failing. And that somebody else is failing doesn't mean that you are succeeding. Everybody has, there's a race for everybody. So, when we understand that success is is um per person there's no there's no um we're not in a competition we're not competing with ourselves we're, com we're not compu competing with other people we're competing with ourselves so when you will see success as that it is dependent on how far i've done how far i've gone I've, I, I speak to my father and i know this is what he wants me to achieve with my life so i'm not going to be counting my success based on what somebody else has done somebody else somewhere is doing i'm going to base my success and um account for my success based on what i have done so far based on what this thing is so when when we are all focused on succeeding based on what god has committed into our trust we will not be we will not have time for envy so um i i really do hope that this this goes a long way in um letting you understand that you you okay yeah the the, the something else to note is that you can't you can't stop a bird from flying over your roof but you can definitely stop it from flying over your head, I mean. But you can definitely stop it from perching over your head or staying over your head and doing some funny tricks on top. It's same thing with thoughts. You you might not be able to stop some thoughts from coming to your mind based on the world where we're living in, where we see things. But you have a right to stop the thoughts from taking control over your mind. And the thing is that when envy does not come alone, it comes with hatred, it comes with jealousy, it comes with... It comes with um malice, it comes with... It, it comes... It doesn't come alone, it comes with other things. So... My, my final word to be whenever you see, whenever you, you feel, whenever you, you hear that thought, whenever you, that thought comes through your mind, it might come through a picture. You have to stop it so it doesn't take control of your mind and affect what you do. You have a purpose and fulfilling that purpose should be your priority, not a being envious of what somebody else is doing. Thank you so much for stopping by to listen to my words, to listen to what I, have, what, what I just discussed. And I'd like to hear your thoughts about this. I really, really want to hear your thoughts about it. How, what you think can be done to handle envy. Because it has actually caused a lot of havoc. It, it, it has caused a lot of havoc. So I hope this video was, as uh, you've, I really hope you've earned, learned something in this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, Kindly subscribe, like, subscribe and comment. And kindly share, share, share with your friends. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you in my next video.